Okay, so I just want to do a little update on the uh, the corn. And as you can see, uh, here's the, the one in front. It's doing okay. Um, the the older leaves are starting to turn like brown. And I don't know if that's normal or not. I've never grown corn before, so uh, you can see the same thing on the on this one and this one here. Uh, this one doesn't look as bad. Uh, it's still got that kind of a thing here, but. But look at the look at the this bean plant. It is just getting huge. I, I suspect in the next two weeks it's going to reach the top of the tomato cage, and uh, that'll be done. That'll be it for it. But I wanted to show you this. So, see if you can see this is our second pea pod that's uh, growing on this thing. I ate the first one too early, but whatever. It was tasty. Okay, so I've had I didn't I haven't had a very good luck on my t tomato plants. They're all. I think it's still a little bit too cold around here for them. Um, there, you know, to, an ideal temperature would be a little warmer than it is now. Um, so we're going to go ahead and take some clones of uh, some of these tomato plants that actually are, are doing okay. Um, you can see down here there's a little sucker growing out of the side there, and that is actually going to be my clone. So I'm going to go ahead and get my supplies, and uh, we're going to talk about cloning. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is uh, I've chosen my sucker and, uh, to make my clone with, and now since th I, I, ideally I would have I, I would have let that sucker get a little bit bigger, um, but we're going to go ahead and try this uh, this clone in some rooting agent and uh, and put it in the soil pod, and uh, and then after that we'll try a different way. But uh, so I'm going to go ahead and pull this sucker off here. Uh, what I'm do do is just uh, Grab it by, you know, grab it low on the on the actual sucker and just kind of pull it off, and it, it just pulls right off. So you can see it right there. Um, it's not a very big one, uh, but that's okay. And uh, let's go over to the table, and I'll show you what, what we're gonna do next. Okay, so these are the things we're gonna need uh, to clone uh, the, the this sucker. Uh, we have our soil pod that the clone is gonna sit in. Uh, we got our, our sucker right here, our knife to cut our 45 degree angle at the base of the stem. And then we picked this up at Home Depot. It's called Rooting Hormone, uh, green, made by Greenlight. I've uh, never used this before, and so we're, we're just going to go ahead and give it a try. Okay, so the first thing I did was clean off my blade and make sure that it's really clean. Uh, I used rubbing alcohol to make sure uh, that I cleaned it up, and just so I'm not uh, passing any disease on to this, uh, this new plant. So uh, it's going to be kind of hard to... Uh, cut this while I'm holding the camera so I'm gonna go ahead and cut it and then come back to you okay so you can see I cut the stem here at a 45 degree angle uh, about to give more surface area uh, to the stem to allow uh, more roots uh, to grow to grow out of the bottom using this rooting hormone so I'm gonna go ahead and dip this in the rooting hormone and uh, we'll go from there okay so I got my bottle of rooting uh, hormone uh, opened and I'm, what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and dip uh, my sucker into the rooting hormone. Get it covered, make sure I cover up all the bottom. You can see it's on there right there. And uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of uh, stick it down in my soil pod. And then I'm going to cover it with some perlite. Make sure, uh, yeah, I'm going to fill the hole in with some, uh, with some perlite and uh, make sure that it's uh, nice and firm and then I'm gonna hit it with some water and some seaweed extract and then I'll move it into the grow light. So, uh, okay, let's move on to uh, our next clone. Okay, so this next clone uh, is actually, it's a little easier to do. Uh, I went ahead and just pulled the, this, this branch off of one of my purple Cherokees. Uh, I don't know if this is gonna be an ideal branch to clone, but whatever, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a try. But. Um, you know, it's, it's, it's healthy. It smells, it smells like to, a tomato plant. It, you know, it, it, this is actually off one of our uh, indoor tomatoes. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut the end off like before, and then I'll actually uh, come back to you. Okay. So I got my, to, uh, my tomato, um, branch all cut, uh, about a 45 degree angle, uh, maybe a little more just to give it uh, enough surface area to grow some roots from. So what's cool about aquaponics clothing is I don't need anything special. I don't need any rooting agent. All I need is my system. See what happens here is the system will drain uh, supplying oxygen uh, to the plants and their roots and then it'll fill supplying nutrients to the plants and the roots. So uh, what I'm going to do is 
Now oh, this looks like a good place as any, so I'm just going to go ahead and dig a little hole here. Make sure that the, the angle is down into the water. And that's good enough, and then just cover it back up. So every time this thing fills, it gives my plant nutrients, and every time it drains, it delivers oxygen to, to the plant. So I mean, it'll it'll probably look like you know it'll probably look like it's dying for the next couple of days um, until until it kind of comes out of its shock, but that's okay. I want to get it away from this broccoli a little bit. But, okay, so um, I actually have a couple of uh, clones that I started uh, I don't know a couple weeks ago. Uh, this is a sucker from inside. I don't know if you can see it very well. I have corn, um, but if I take this thing out. You'll notice that the roots have really already started to come in and this plant is going to be you know it's going to be its own tomato plant so uh, i did i've done this with a couple of them there's uh, another one down down there so i'm going to have you know uh, i'm you know i'll propagate two two different tomato plants uh you know from one of our one of our dying ones so anyway i'm going to put this back and i'll come back to you okay so i got this uh this clone packed in some dirt uh, i just have to use dirt instead of uh vermiculite and uh so yeah I, he's all watered and he's sitting underneath the grow lamps uh inside in the in the indoor system so okay guys so i hope you enjoyed this video on uh just simple cloning um in the coming weeks ahead i'm gonna go ahead and build a bubble cloner um out of a out of a bucket and an aerator and some uh and some of this this uh, nutrient rich water so anyway uh stay tuned for that Join the, uh, the Facebook fan page at uh, HD Aquaponics. Uh, subscribe to the channel. And the website is it has been launched. Um, it's not finished yet. So uh, I'll be slowly making updates to that. Uh, oh, you know, well, for over, over, the, next, uh, over the next week uh, to try to get it, you know, to a functioning site. But the forums are up, so we'll be, uh, we'll be taking signups uh, for the community and all that stuff soon. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.